welcome to stb exam forum we have come up with another session on let's solve pyq and in this session we are going to solve previous year question of isro assistant junior assistant udc exam that was held in year 2016 and the section which we will cover today will be quantitative aptitude okay and this video will be two part video and in this particular video we are going to solve question 1 to 10 and the remaining we will solve in the next section okay so without further ado let's begin this session and the first question on your screen is there and your time starts now student take pen and paper and try to solve it otherwise you will not gain from this video okay so times up student student this question is from the number system a very simple one okay so here you are seeing certain numbers are given decimal numbers are there so as you know in order to add there are certain things okay you can add the integer part and after that you can add decimal part okay the best strategy for this question uh, just go for the decimal part first okay 0.44 Plus point four, point zero four, and point zero. So let's add this part. So point four four plus point four zero. Okay, it four means four zero. Okay. Next is point zero four. Okay. So next is point zero four. Okay. So four plus four eight, and four plus four eight. Okay, so decimal part will have eight it in it. So you can eliminate option two and option three straight away. Okay, so you are left with option one and option four. Okay, so let's add the remaining integer part. Okay, so as you see, four plus four, eight, eight plus four, twelve, twelve plus four, sixteen, sixteen plus four, twenty. So zero is there in this part. So option one is the correct answer without adding the full number. And uh, as you see, option one is the correct answer. Okay, understood. This is a very simple one. Uh, you need uh, to do a little bit uh, analysis before answering that question. Okay, so let's see the next question. This is again a very simple one. A very simple one. Just you need to uh, divide the fraction. Okay, so what you will get? You will get answer as what three three seven five. Divided by four five double zero. So you should know the divisibility rule. So let's start with five. Okay. So five nines are forty five. Okay. Then we have five six are thirty. Five seven are thirty five. Thirty six thirty seven two is left. So five five are twenty five. Okay. So what we can do with the next? Uh, let's. Go with the nine. Whether it is divisible by nine, let's see whether it is divisible by three. Six, six plus six, twelve, and twelve plus six. Yeah, it will be divisible by three. So you can straight away uh, go with a three. Okay, so three two just six, three two just six, three five just fifteen. Again, five six seven eight nine. Again, it is divisible by three. Okay, so let's go with three. Three seven just twenty one. Three five just fifteen. So as you know, seventy five by hundred is what? Three by four. Okay. S sorry, three by four. Okay. So option number one will be the right. Okay. Twenty five three just seventy five and twenty five four just hundred. So option B is the right answer. Okay. So let's see. So option two is the right answer for this question. Okay. Let's see the next question. It is from the mensuration. Okay, this question is from mensuration. Okay. Uh, let's see what is the question. The base of radii of two cylinder are in ratio two and three, and their height are in ratio five to three. The ratio of their volume is what? So you should know the formula of uh, volume of cylinder. As you know, volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Okay. 
so this is radius one height one okay similarly with the other cylinder r2 square and h2 okay so you can uh, put 2x and 3x okay and 2 uh, 5y and 3z and pi pi you get cancelled so r is what 2x whole square and h is h is what 5y whole square 5y only and uh, an r2 is what 3x whole square and uh, height is 3y okay so y y got cancelled x square got cancelled x square so this become 4 this become 9 okay so you have 4 into 5 divided by 9 into 3 okay so 4 5 is a 15 9 3 is a 27 so 4 5 is a 20 and 9 3 is a 27 so option number 2 we got the answer so option 2 is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is again from the number system so question says one seventh of a number let the number be x is 51 okay what will be the 64 percent of it so just calculate x what is what will be the value of x 51 into 7 and what will be the 64 percent of it 64 divided by 100 okay so if you solve this uh, calculation what you will get option 2 okay 228.48 okay i am not dividing you if you divide you will get option 2 as the answer so option 2 will be the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the question average okay it is from the average chapter a very good question at all okay so if the average of 10 percent of a number 25 percent of that number and 50 percent of that number and 75 percent of that number is 24 then the number will be what okay so let the number be x as usual and 10 percent of x will be what point 1x okay and 25 percent of that number will be 0.25x right and uh, 50 percent of that number will be 0.5 of x right and 75 percent will be 0.75 of that number divided by how many numbers are there four okay and their average is what 24 okay so if you multiply 4 4 just 16 4 2 just 8 96 and if you add all these uh, what you will get 1.6 x okay and uh, you know x is equal to 96 divided by 1.6 and it will be equal to if you calculate it will be equal to 60 okay just uh, if you calculate it will be equal to 60 okay so option 2 will be the right answer okay let's move to the next question it is from the speed and distance chapter okay speed and distance what does question says question says mohit and uh, nitish start walking toward each other okay so whenever there are two entities which are moving either towards or away from each other there will be a concept of relative speed remember okay so what is this speed 5 km per hour and 3 km per hour so this is 5 km per hour and this is 3 km per hour if i ask you what will be the relative speed the relative speed since they are moving in the same opposite direction it will be addition of these two okay and uh, they were initially 20 k kilometer apart so as you know when uh, two these two people meet it will be time is equal to what distance upon speed here relative speed will be there okay so distance is 28 and what is the relative speed 8 kilometer per hour okay so as you know 8 uh, if you divide 8 8 with what 8 1 ja 8 8 3 ja 24 you are left with 440 so 3.5 hours okay 3.5 hour is what 3 and a half hour okay so 3 and a half hour it is started from 3 am so 3 plus 3 and a half hour is what 7 and a half so option 4 is the right answer okay 
लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज फ्रॉम अगेन मैंसोरेशन ज्योमेट्री पार्ट अ वेरी सिंपल वन जस्ट यू नीड टू लुक एट द डायग्राम ओके द एरिया ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट सर्कल दैट कैन बी ड्रॉन इन साइड अ स्क्वेयर ऑफ साइड वन ट्वेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर ओके सो दिस इज अ स्क्वेयर ओके सो इट्स साइड विल बी वॉट इट्स साइड विल बी ट्वेंटी एट ओके सो अ सर्कल इज फिट इन साइड सो वट विल बी द रेडियस ऑफ सर्कल रेडियस विल बी हाफ ऑफ इट बिकॉज इट इज द लार्जेस्ट सर्कल सो इट रेडियस विल बी फोर्टीन सो एज यू नो एरिया ऑफ सर्कल इज पाई आर स्क्वेयर पाई इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन आर इज वट फोर्टीन फोर्टीन इंटू फोर्टीन सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड यू विल गेट सिक्स वन सिक्स एज अ आंसर ओके सो सिक्स वन सिक्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज फ्रॉम द रेशियो ओके इट इज फ्रॉम द कैटेगरी कॉल्ड रेशियो सो इन रैली दिस मच स्टूडेंट देयर एंड रेशियो ऑफ बॉयज एंड गर्ल इज नाइन इज टू सेवन सो टोटल इज वट सिक्सटीन सो but it is not 16 it is 256 how much time 16 times so how many girls will be there girls will be 16 times of 7 and 16 time of 7 will be what will be 112 okay so option 3 is the right answers okay so this will be option 3 okay let's see the next question it is from the time and work so we have seen one question from the time and work as well so time and work so the question says a contractor completed 5 by 9 of a work before second contractor completed an addition of 1 by third work what fraction of work is done left okay so let us consider one is a full work so contractor a completed 5 by 9 so the remaining will be 1 minus 5 by 9 and again additional work second contractor did and again it will be minus 1 by 3 because he has also completed 1 by 3 of that work okay just take lcm and if you solve you will get 1 by 9 so 1 by 9 work is left undone okay so option 1 is the right answer let's see the next question a very good question student which is the largest four digit number exactly divisible by 78 so what you need to do as you know largest four digit number is 999 okay if you divide it by 78 okay so you will get remainder as what 15 okay so if you subtract a uh, 999 minus 15 you will get the number exactly divisible by that and uh, it will be what 9984 okay so 9984 option 4 is the right answer okay S understood okay let's see the next question student uh, this is the last question as uh, time is about to over so i am giving you this as a homework okay so what the question says it is a regular hexagon okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 so one rectangle is there so you need to find the area of this rectangle okay so i am giving you as a homework so we have other video as well okay so we have completed 2012 questions 2000 14 questions full questions we have uh, it is there in isro assistant playlist okay you can have a watch okay and now we are solving previous year question of year 2016 okay so thank you student that's it for today uh, we will come with part 2 of uh, this video very soon okay thank you for watching and have a nice day